Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Hen. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum while I fumble with my headset cords. <laughs> um, anyway, so today we're gonna enter Stark Mountain and... Hey you! Oh uh, wait, I totally forgot what our voice was. Tell us where Master Cyrus went. You were after... Where were you after you disappeared at Spear Pillar? Huh? Distortion World where Giratina was? You're not making any sense. Don't play that card with me. Fine, you don't want to talk? I'll bash you and make you talk. So, yeah, I was just immediately starting off with Team Galactic Battles. I didn't know we were immediately gonna fight the commanders, but. Eh. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Alright, so. Finally evolved at frickin' Bronzor. Um, I forget what I might have on Linux. Uh, is it still the choice? Uh, that doesn't look like it. You know, that doesn't look very good. What item do I have? Oh, I suppose it's okay. Fair enough. Um... I don't have wrench with me. Now, this might be a problem. Um... Alright, Terra. Go! Do your stuff. So you're still probably not gonna be doing too much. These things have levitate, so... I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish here. thinking about it. Linux probably was my best choice. Alright, well, uh, let's put on a Stealth Rock. Because at least it'll take care of presumably the Crobat. Uh, at least I assume they evolve that thing. And the, uh, probably at least a little bit. I'll soften up a little. And there's a Sandstorm now, which hurts it, so... Rock Slide is stronger than Ice Thing, so let's go for that, even though it's weaker. Yeah, it's not doing a whole lot. This is a problem. Oh, actually, I just realized what I should have done to begin with. And then just go for Gumi and set up a Tail Ghost Wave. Alright, I'm stupid, ignore me. Alright, he's uh, Tail Glow. Actually,. Signal Beam is new. Actually, nah, yeah, Signal Beam is neutral. Well, let's say if it's super effective, it might be one to use that, but. No, and Confuse, right? My favorite. Light Screen War Off. Um, because I am faster here, I think I might want to just take a. take a little gamble here and go for Surf. Okay, thank you, Goody. Yeah, uh, just so it can't set up a new light screen and make everything more annoying. I guess I could have just gone for another Tail Glow, but I think plus two will be enough to get me through this fight, because I think, because Bronzong is so defensive and I have nothing that can really take care of it that well on my team right now, uh, which I really should have thought of before I entered here, but probably... Get switch, but I won't because I have my tail close set up. And I just realized that this thing is seven levels higher. That is kind of bad. I guess that's why the bronze I was taking so many hits as well. Actually did very little, or surprisingly little. As long as this thing doesn't start pulling out the critical hits, which you know what's going to. Actually, I don't know if Perkley is any fast. I don't actually know what any of Perkley's stats are, to be honest, because I've never really used one. But uh, I was going to make a comment about if this was Gen 1 and it was fast, then uh, Slash would be criticaling constantly because Gen 1 was broken like that. I don't know if that's really broken, but... At least I gave speed some sort of use other than just moving first. Speed is kind of a lame side, in my opinion. Alright. Yeah, I don't know what else speed would do, but... Eh. Full 
much store because this fight is not really wanting to cooperate with me. Actually, I guess this thing is kind of fast, seeing as it's outspeeding me, but then again, it is several levels higher, so... Who can really tell? This has already been taking five minutes because I'm severely underleveled. I was already underleveled for the league, and now I'm just underleveled for the whole game. Come on, Goomy. Let's surf this thing and be done with it. Alright. Luckily, didn't bother putting up a hypnosis again because that would have probably pissed me off a little bit. Kill it. Yes. I don't know if I would have one shotted it at full health, but. Actually, I, saying one shot it probably implied that it was going to be at full health, but shush. You know what I'm just trying to say, hopefully. Golbat! Okay, so you didn't actually get it to be a Kurobat. I guess you just... Re I guess it just really hates you then, because, I mean... Cyrus managed to evolve his, and... He doesn't even care about the thing. Then again, uh... I guess it pretty much makes him... A confirmed sociopath because he somehow managed to manipulate the thing into thinking that it loved him or maybe it just really loved him for no reason it's kind of weird how his crowd evolved how am I supposed to get information about our missing master Cyrus Maj you're really weak pitifully so you make me embarrassed to be a commander like you fine I'll go up next I want to know what became of master Cyrus too at least it didn't just gang up on me. That would have been awful. Alright, uh, are you gonna have light screen as well, or are you gonna not be that much of a butt? Um. Let's go try to thunderbolt this. I'd be better off just taking him out with Linux. You know, I'm gonna paralyze. Okay, reflect. I was hoping it was gonna have reflect, but I didn't want to jinx it and it not have reflect. Because I actually don't remember this part of the game that much. Because I've played through Platinum plenty of times, but I've never really. I played through the after game the first time, obviously, but I never really played through it again after I did it the first time, so. That's kind of where the problem lies. Does Gyroball's power get boosted if you're paralyzed? Because that makes you even slower. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that I still live. That is kind of awesome, Linux. Uh, good job there. Send out the scone tank, please. Actually, yeah, okay. Actually, the gold would have been better, but... Alright, now let's go out with a bang. Nope, okay. Fair enough. Kill me, I guess. Jerk. Okay. Now let's use somebody who's not gonna do any good at all. I like how I went off screen to heal, and I guess I just switched some Pokemon. I didn't actually heal. Ah, poison job. No. Well, this fight is gonna suck. And I just majorly screwed myself over because Gumi can't do shit in the fucking sunlight. Okay, this is bad. Um, I had absolutely no strategy going into this. And now I'm paying the price. Also, usually my Pokemon are not under levels like this, because usually I grind up... How many times have I said usually already? Uh, yeah. Normally... See what I did there? Uh, I grind up before doing the League. To at least be... A little bit more matched up to Cynthia, because she really is... And I, I, I mean this in the best way possible, but she, is, she really is overpowered as a champion. Which I personally actually kind of think that they should be, because they should pose a major threat like she does. And it's not just the Garchomp. It's very easy to say, oh, the Garchomp is a major threat, but there are other things on our team, too, that are 
really annoying to deal with. Uh, specifically, uh, I know Lucario can be really bad at times. Togekiss, with its uh, eternal flinching. Uh, Melodic, with its massive amount of bulk. Oh wow, I forgot that the sun was up. That actually did pretty good for the sun being up, then. But yeah, uh... Even Spiritomb with its, uh, no weaknesses. At least in this generation, it got a fair weakness later on, but... Yeah, for now it had no weaknesses. Uh, the only one who's not that much of a threat, despite not being a bad Pokémon, is Rose Raid. Which is just kind of... Not that threatening because it's very frail, and it's a grass type, which are weak to about five things. I don't even think I exaggerated there. I think they might be weak to exactly five things. Uh, let's see. Let's go for that. By the way, um, let's see. It's fire, flying, ice, poison. I'm forgetting one. I think. Well, I have four. I might be forgetting one, I don't even know. It lived. That's... That's annoying. I think it can live whatever it throws at me, and I have two Pokemon in backup if I need to. Oh! Or, or just that! Okay. Well, joke's on me, I guess, because this is four times resisted. Even at plus two. I was about to complain how, about how long that sunny day stayed up, but then I remember, oh yeah, I, I put on that heat rock myself. The only one to blame for this is me. Oh my god. This is a little bit of a train wreck. Can we kill the gold bed? Yes, we can. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal again though because Skuntank is gonna murder me as soon as it pops its ugly head back out. Aqua Ring at 54. No, I'm not gonna learn that. I really want to get Manaphy's signature move, but then again, I'm not sure if it'll really be that useful. And I'm not sure if I ever really can get to show it. The only thing I can think of it being useful in is double battles. And when are you ever going to get into a uh, double battle after you get that move? Because I'm, I'm, at this point I'm pretty much convinced that it's like level 80 before you get it. Actually, there might be a game coming up where I can actually make use of... That moves its full potential, but we'll have to be seeing about that one. Alrighty, uh... Let's go for Surf. Don't know if the sun is still up, but if it is, then it's, uh... Mocking him even further. Her, excuse me. So, after what, like, 13 and a half minutes, we finally beat two Galactic Commanders, which really shouldn't have taken that long, but... I was underleveled, and all my Pokémon are... Did you say flaming with toughness? What? How dare you! Okay, that's it for me. I'm gonna look for Master Cyrus. The Sorcerer, what was it called? I should go there, right? I'm quits with Team Galactic. Jupiter, you can deal with it. Following Mars's lead, anything works me, but I'm quitting on my own thing too. Team Galactic is just no fun without Master Cyrus around. So, old timer, go ahead, do what you want with Team Galactic. Also, I don't believe this wasn't Diamond and Pearl. There you have it, we're just going back to being ordinary girls. You can mop up whichever way you want. Says you! An ordinary girl, you're not! What should I do now? Is leaving on a journey the right idea? And they were never seen again. Ah, so impressionable and impetuous! Ah, what did I see in Cyrus? Immature, the thinking buffoon? It goes through all the trouble of assembling Team Galactic for what? Ultimately, he destroys his own creation with his ludicrous vision. I uh, no thanks to him, but if I had not struggle with the pieces, that's fine. Young, love of the dreams is something I'm friend to talk and he could prefer to remain firmly in reality, and for that, money is paramount. 
you dead child. I'm not dealing with you. After all, the other Team Galactic members who did all suffer the consequences. I'll be after Collector Magma Stone. It's all for the money. Will you Team Rocket? You gotta go over to Kanto. I'm sure you'll make some friends. I forgot that I don't have a repel. Hello, Weezing. How are you doing? You are you are a cool Pokemon, yeah. I don't really want to be seeing you right now. Let's go spray that repel I was talking about. Let's go ignore that computer that started acting up in the background. I will not mention that every time. I'm really hoping that it's been less noticeable recently, but I really can't do anything to fix it. I do really like the uh, aesthetics of this cave, the gray stones with the uh, or the gray walls with the red glows to them. They're kind of cool. Uh, for the record, there is the three more Pokemon in here that I haven't seen before. Rhydon not being one of them. And by not having seen before, I mean things that I could have easily imported but chose not to because I'm dumb. Uh, they would be Macargo and Slugma. And for some reason, Coughing. Weezing was outside, but Coughing is only in the next room of this place. And I really wish that I didn't run into one of the characters every two seconds. It's all gonna be these Rhyhorn, or Rhydon, because they're all gonna be level 54. Which means if I have anybody else out, I'm gonna be constantly running into encounters. Oh my god, I swear if it's another Rhydon. These frickin' things! I will slaughter every last one of them. Okay, full heal. That's not gonna save me from the ground on problem. I would make a Spongebob reference, but I don't think it's entirely relevant. It was the one about the balloon, in case people are wondering. If you don't know what I'm talking about, good! <clears throat> well, there's the cargo. Oh, I should have made. Now it's too late. I should have made a joke about it, but I didn't. I'm a failure. I should have said, dared my cargo. Get it? Because it's. It sounds like. funny, but it's not. Okay, this 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 rambling was redeemed because I got a uh, home store reference out of it. Okay, Macargo or Rhydon, stop showing up. Okay, apparently the Macargo were just all hanging out up here. I guess they saw me enter and they and they were like, "Hey, he doesn't have a repel up for us. Let's go attack him." But they were all so slow that they never made it past the first part of that whole cave there. Also, a uh, funky small view. And can I have you? Hey Kevin, wait up, so what's going on? What, Team Galactic's here? Gotcha, let's team up and go together. So he decided to go with Buck. Or a Buck. I'll see you able to keep our Pokemon healthy, so that'll be helpful. Okay, now I would actually like to run into one of those Bacargos. No? Oh, well, ran into both of my friends. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna kill you all. Except maybe to clay it all, because it's at you know, least 10 levels higher. It still took a major amount of damage. A major amount. I must say massive, but then I kind of forgot that I wanted to say massive. Cargo. And goodbye, Rhydon. Whoop, whoop. Okay, everybody's healed. Now I can finally do stuff. One mighty flat, my bird blows away the embers of aggression. Alright. But who can destroy anything? You think you can win? Well, you're wrong! 
Crystal and Ray. And they have a Staravia for some reason. We're in the final dungeon of the game. Do you really have to have a Staravia in here? I mean, come on. Uh, I would say I I'll trust you to take out the Breloom, but... Let's face it, I don't trust you to take out the Breloom. I don't actually remember how useful Buck is. I don't remember him being as completely frickin' useless as Marley was. At least most of the time. So these Pokémon have levels that I like to see more because I can actually deal with them. So yeah, I made a, I made a good choice because he wasn't going to attack this to Ravia anyways. And didn't even knock it out. Good job. Toxic Rogue. I uh, don't really like seeing that. Could go for a Hyper Beam. Let's go for Try Attack instead. Because it should still just deal a good amount of damage. I'm not gonna knock it out though. Ah, uh, close enough. And because it was stupid and used that move, uh, I guess I'm gonna take it out in this next turn. Okay, now you attack the thing that I would want you to attack. I guess we're just deciding to leave that Staravia alive because it's probably the most non threatening thing they could have sent out at this point. Unless they just send out a Starly. Let's see how many turns of that Claydol's time we can waste. That was one of them, because now it doesn't get to do anything. Nope. Firo. Um, not quite as common as it is in like the Kanto games, but it's still really common in this game, because it's in like every afternoon area. It's kind of terrible. At least the ones on the uh, west and north sides. Alright, well, actually, it's also on the southern end, it's just not on the east side of. Okay, well, I guess you put up a reflect. Do you feel accomplished now? I guess you should, because you didn't actually waste your turn, so. Alright, well, let's actually get off the hyper beam. We couldn't do it with the uh, scum tank earlier. Alright, goodbye, Noxile. Damn it. All that's dealt with. Oh, this is just where we started. Well, that was pointless. Is there a hidden item here? Yes, there is. Uh, I should probably switch. Um, let's put this in the front. Also, Terra is actually a pretty decent choice here because uh, Sandstorm mode is not going to play at all. Well, there's a Slugma, which I do need to catch. I actually think that thing might be pretty rare, so. Um. You know what? Uh, I'm not going to be able to fit much more in this video, anyways. I'm gonna catch this slugma. I'm gonna thank you guys all for watching for now, and I'll see you guys the next time when we're gonna continue through this cave and uh, hopefully finish it up. So for now, I'm gonna say goodbye.